My favourite part about watching my son run around the track at his athletics club is the fact that it's not important who crosses the finish line first. The focus is on getting the best out of yourself and going for a personal best time, PBs. People love talking about PBs there, it's huge. But I love seeing him run faster, throw and jump further than he has ever run before. And he's excited by that as well as he discovers that he's capable of so much more than he thought was possible. Sometimes he wins, sometimes he doesn't but it doesn't matter. He's only competing against himself. And the strength of that attitude is that it leaves space for more than one person to win in any given race. It's not a zero sum game, but it's a place of growth, a place of development, a place of abundance. We might think that this type of attitude has no place outside of kids' athletics, but it is truly how we can live our whole lives. In a world where we live with a philosophy of survival of the fittest, which is a sham, by the way, uh, we're taking the easy way out. It's easy when all you have to do is try and just be a little bit better than the other team or the other person or the other organisation. We do improve, but only incrementally through that. But if we shifted our focus from trying to be a little bit better than someone else and begin to imagine what we are capable of, then we realize that we can always get better compared to what we've done before. And we are capable of so much more than we think is possible. Mostly, just because someone else is doing well, it doesn't mean that we lose out. There isn't a limited amount of success in the world. There is an abundance, meaning we can celebrate when other people are doing well and strive to get our own PB. Or as Reese Witherspoon would say, someone else's success isn't impeding mine.